Uh, so you wrote and directed this movie. How did you first hear about um, about the, the story of Newt Knight? Well, uh, the stories, the bare bones of the story are very known. Uh, not widely known, but they are known. And someone brought a treatment to me. Leonard Hartman, who's credited with me on the uh, has story credit on the film, brought me uh, the story. But so much of it didn't make sense to me. I didn't know that there was this kind of descent. I didn't know how I hadn't heard of it. How did this get lost to history? Well, you know, poor folks often get lost to history, so that shouldn't be that surprising. But, and I, it, it sent me on a two-year odyssey of research where I did nothing but read books until um, then finally I began to outline the screenplay. And who was Knight? What were the principles that he, he stood for? Well, I mean, he's a very independent yeoman farmer. He's fighting against the slaveocracy who's asking poor white farmers who have no stake in the Civil War to fight and die for a planter class that's trying to perpetuate slavery, and he's also ideologically opposed to slavery. But there's more. Because what we know about Newt Knight after the war is even more amazing, that he, that he joined the struggle of African Americans in fighting for their rights in the entire post-war period burned down a school that wouldn't educate mixed-race children, joined a, a mainly black unit that was fighting for the, of the Mississippi State Militia that was fighting to secure the voting rights of African Americans in the election of 1875, that he deeded Rachel 160 acres of land, that he, that he uh, rescued um, the real Newton Knight, rescued two kids from apprenticeship, which was a form of re-enslavement after the war. Uh, under what was called the Black Codes, when um, no sooner was the war over than these onerous conditions were kind of reimposed by former Confederates. So um, we need to know that what his, the ideals he was fighting for were class-based at the outset, but he was able to embrace the larger issues of human freedom and the racial issues that were uh, a part of the war. And let's talk about casting for a second. Um, you've got a British, a wonderful British, I didn't know she was British, I mean I knew she was British, but I didn't, I, I totally forgot she was British. So you saw her today and like you guys I, were I, I just chums. I was out of it, yeah, I was like, wow. <laughs> and then yeah. you obviously got Matthew McConaughey. Sure, sure. Um, who was, seems to be born Perfect. for the role. Yeah. Um, how did they come on board? Uh, well, I mean, you know, I approached them both. You know, I approached Matthew first, and then he and I had a long talk and agreed to do this together, and um, it led to a wonderful, long collaboration. Uh, where we were finishing each other's sentences by the end, you know. <laughs> Gugu, um, we, were, we were already making the movie, and um, I knew her agent, but I also knew her work in Bell. So I really didn't talk to anybody else. Now this is a movie about the Civil War. It's a period of history that British people will not be so familiar with because we didn't of learn course. about it in schools. Um, how would this movie appeal to a British audience? Well, I think that it's a struggle for freedom. I think that they'll get a window into America. I think that you guys probably look at a lot of the things that go on here uh, half amazed and uh, probably especially in light of recent events, um, you know, our country probably seems a little mad to you at times. And so um, at this period of history is very at the heart of our national identity. And I think it's a window into who we are. And I also think that the struggle for freedom is really perpetual and heroic. And it's a man standing up for something that's uh, pretty amazing. And I will say, at the heart of the Knight Company rebellion is class struggle. And I think uh, British probably understand that better than anybody else. So, <laughs> yeah. Great. Thank you so much. Absolutely. Ladies and gentlemen, you're watching Hey You Guys! Hey, you guys, huh? Hey, you guys. Is that yeah. from the Goonies? It is indeed, yeah. Nice. Hey!